she got a new mayor. Serge Dedina has uh, been elected, defeating two-term incumbent Jim Janney as of last night. Joining us right now is the mayor-elect. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Congratulations, first of all. Thank you so much. I mean, this was, I mean, we've been talking about this race because, I mean, it, it, when it came down to it, 43 votes. That's an amazing, amazing race. Yeah, you know, it was a close race, but we ran a real grassroots campaign, and I knocked on 5,000 doors, talked to over 2,000 people, and just walked every day for two to three hours for, for five for five months. So it was a really exciting uh, campaign and a really exciting election, and I'm really honored to be here. Um, are you hearing any word of any kind of recount? I mean, usually when we see a, 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 a total that close, you you know, you think recounts coming. Um, you know, right now we're planning on the swearing-in ceremony on December 10th at 530. In fact, the entire community of IV is invited to that at City Hall. Right. In fact, yesterday I handed out invitations to 97-year-old Mr. Magallanes, who was one of my biggest supporters, and 85-year-old Mrs. Hernandez, who was one of my biggest supporters. That was an honor for me to do that. I, and I, you, we were just talking about your grassroots campaign, which is something that you started way back, you know, last year. Right. And you were telling me that you actually, because you grew up in... I've been in, in IV since I was seven. IV. But you were telling me that you, you knocked on the door of your second grade teacher? Oh, my second grade teacher actually called, oh, called me, and you? then my sixth grade teacher, Linda Clark, came to one of my fundraisers. So that was awesome. I, I loved all my teachers. I went to a great elementary school in Imperial Beach and had uh, I was a good student, and so I th it was great that they remembered me. And and we I, I also found it very interesting that you have never been in like a, a, a elected office before. I mean, you've been active in your community obviously since you were young, but never in like serious politics. Why now? Well, Why you know, this way? I'm a first generation American. My parents came to America. My dad escaped the Nazi occupation of Europe. His, his, his relatives were sent to concentration camps. We have a profound reverence for American democracy in my, in my family. And it's really important that we as citizens get involved in our community. I was raised that to the belief that we always have to help people do better and make things better. And that's why I ran. I love Imperial Beach. I look forward to working with my council and working with the community, especially kids and families, to do a lot more to, to improve the quality of life in Let, IB. Let's talk about that. What is your, I mean, what is your number one priority day one once you are sworn in? Well, we're going to do a lot more to work with our wonderful council and learn from our wonderful council, but also uh, we need a supermarket in Imperial Beach. going to work with Sudbury Development to get that moving. Uh, we're going to pave our alleys. A lot of folks live in alleys that aren't, aren't paved. We're going to do a lot more to get street lights and, and get crosswalks uh, put in. Do a lot of those little things that make a big difference to improve the quality of life for everyone in Imperial Beach. You know, a lot was made during the campaign, especially towards the end, about this big contribution that was made to your campaign from um, a, a super PAC, basically, out of New York that, that has some uh, a faction here in the San Diego area. Is that concerning at all to you? I mean, is it, it, I mean, is it are, the, are these people part of this union? I mean, how are you going to handle them? Well, yeah, yeah, I ran my own independent campaign. It was funded uh, all by my friends and family and a few other folks. But, um, you know, I'm working for the people of Imperial Beach, for the community of Imperial Beach. So my only interest group are the people who, uh, who live in MIB and support supported me, and more importantly, working really with everybody in our community to improve the quality of life for all. And I also found it very interesting that you have a PhD, right. um, and we're very uh, involved as the executive directors of Wild Coast, a conservation effort for our beaches, and especially, obviously, in Ivy. So is that another big concern for you? Yeah, Keeping you the know, beaches and, and clean? right now, after the rains, the Tijuana River is flowing, and we're going to work seven days a week, 24 hours a day, to make sure we keep our keep beaches clean, make sure that agencies do their job to keep the Tijuana River not from contributing to pollution on our coast, mm -hmm. and really making sure that every kid and every family has access to a wonderful, clean coast in Miami. That's going to be one of my biggest priorities. All right. Good luck to Thank you. you so much. Congratulations Thank again, you. and, and uh, we, of course, will be there for your swearing in. Thank you so much. All right. It's uh, the brand new mayor.